Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we have an unboxing of a new to me planner from North Folk. It is a planner that holds daily, weekly, and monthly spreads in this book. I have not opened this because I cut open the box and I like to show you guys whenever there's any kind of special packaging. And when I cut open the box, I saw that it did have special packaging in the box itself. So I left it in here and I have not looked at it. So these are gonna be, you know, just my first impressions. And then I will come back on another day once I've done my research and do the review. All right, so let's get into this. It comes with all the little um, zigzag paper things in the box. Looks really pretty if you're giving it as a gift. So there's actually a lot of those zigzags down here. They make like a blanket for it. So there's no bubble wrap, but that keeps this box nice and safe in there. Now, it comes in this beautiful box. It has an anchor as um, their little emblem right there. So let's get into this. Okay, I was figuring out how the box worked. It's a magnetic. This box is magnet on the side, so this is a keepsake box. Feels really nice too. I love the way the packaging looks if you want to give it as a gift. But even if it's not as a gift, just for yourself, it feels like a gift. So a really pretty pic sticker there. I love the packaging. It's beautiful. And under here are some more of the brown paper things to keep it safe. So it's really padded in there. And then you have a really nice keepsake box to keep and store cards, um, pens, stickers, pictures. Okay, so here is the planner itself. It feels very, um, I thought it would be way bigger and heavier, but it's not because it's an undated six month, I believe. But um, I'm gonna do my research on that and I'm gonna get come back and do the review. It comes with monthly stickers since it's undated and you can start it any month. So we will get into all that in the video. I'm very excited to do this review for you. This is your daily agendas. They have places for you to put your monthly tabs. In between here, you have week of, week of. So for each week of the month, you have a weekly spread too. And then you go into your dailies. Okay, I am going to do my research and then come back and we will do a full review on this. Today, we have the Archive Planner by North Folk. So let me tell you a little bit about this planner. This is their first edition printing. They said they want to make very clear that this is still their beta test. They already have a, um, a little list of changes that they're definitely going to make before the second printing. Um, a few inside changes to make it more intuitive. They also have already found a new cover that they want. Uh, their new covers will be durable fabric for their second printing. This cover is a... It feels like a suede, but it's not suede at all. Um, but it's very soft. I like the cover. I don't have any issues with the cover at all. And then they have that nice, um, is it called debossing? Um, I could be wrong. The anchor on there and the back is just completely plain. They have two uh, gray tone in different tones, ribbons in there. So let me tell you about this. This is a six month undated with monthly and weekly and daily views. Six month undated for all three of those. Um, they are very open to all feedback for this planner right now before they place their second print order. They said they are all ears. Um, their second round, they also will be making a data version, a dated version they said. And Sam and Rachel are the makers of this. And they also will be dropping the name Archive. Right now, it's called the Archive Planner by North Folk. They've always worked under the name North Folk, though, and they said it's going to be just start being called the North Folk um, on their second printing. So they come in two colors right now. This is the dark charcoal gray, and then they have a very light dove gray, which also looks beautiful. They are $56.00. They have 100 GSM paper, so really good quality paper. Here is a pen test of, you know, a ton of pens, 
glare pens, Erin Condren dual tip markers, both tips, even the thicker ones, Sharpie pens, Pilot pens, Pentel inner gels, friction pens, Paper Mate Ink Joy, and then sometimes I just throw in a Sharpie. I've been doing that. I don't think you should be able to write in any planner with Sharpie marker. Um, that is a Sharpie marker, so I expect it to bleed through. Um, it's just something fun to throw in there and see how it comes out to the other side. Um, or maybe you just think I'm crazy and we don't need to throw that in there. <laughs> but this is 100 GSM paper and you can tell it took all the pens really well. Look at that. The only thing that's showing through bleeding at all is the Sharpie marker, which, you know, I probably shouldn't even throw that in. But these are all the pens, all the colored pens, the flare pens. Um, there is hardly even any ghosting. If you look at it from here and you take out the Sharpie marker. Yeah, so I don't think I'll be doing that anymore because it's a little bit distracting. Um, but you can see it takes the pen very well. It's enjoyable to write on. It has a good feel to it. Um, um, I really like it. It's great 100 GSM paper. I don't think you'll have any complaints about it. All right, this planner is made to hold the everyday details of your life. It comes with these stickers and I will show you the tabs. Really nice clear stickers. Since this is an undated planner, they have tabs that these stickers can go on for whenever you start it. So that's really nice that it comes with these clear stickers. And then they also give you this really good quality. It's almost like a laminated feel. Um, it's not laminated, but if you would spill your drink on it, it would not do anything to it. And they give you it for 2018, a full year view, and 2019 planning. Since it's an undated planner, that's really nice to have to glance at. And they have a perfect pocket right here to hold it in there. Um, so that is a very nice touch that it comes with. All right, here is your nameplate page. Then you have a letter from Sam and Rachel, the creators of it. And then you go into a little goal section where financial, personal, work, kids, lifestyle, home, a five-year goal, and a 10-year goal. I really like the font that they have picked. It's just really clean, really modern looking, fresh. That's the feeling that it gives you like a really fresh start. Then you have a 52-week savings tracker right here. And so you have for 52 weeks, a whole year, you can have the date, the deposit, the balance, and a check if you did it. Um, and so if you want to track savings, if you're motivated, um, this will help you be motivated for that. You have a debt payoff page also. Um, so they show you an example debt and they give you some options of how you can track it. They tell you option one and option two for how to track it. So they kind of lay that out for you. So this is great to have a future log. <clears throat> you guys, I'm sorry. I think I am starting to lose my voice a little bit today. I just got a drink of water to try to clear it out, but I'm not sure if it's going to come back, but we're going to try to finish this video. Hey guys. So then you have a monthly view. They have a notes. They have an important dates down here. They have where you write the month of, and they have given you a little square to write your date in there. It is a Sunday start calendar. So typical. Um, Sunday start monthly view. Then after your monthly view, you have a bill tracker for every month and a habit tracker for every month. So let me show this to you. They wanted you to be able to track the everyday details of your life. So they give you this for every month. Due date on a bill. What is the bill? What is the amount? And just a check off. Did you pay it? So it is just a really simple bill tracker. You know, you might have your car payment listed your house or your apartment rent li rent listed, a credit card bill listed, a student loan listed, you know, whatever your bills are every month, what is the amount that month for that bill and did you pay it? I like how simple that is and how they give you a monthly grand total. So if you also want to track bills that change every month, like how much you spent on your groceries or how much you spent on clothing or makeup, then it's really easy to see every month and come back here because you have one for every single month. So I really love that. Here is your habit tracker for every month. Okay, this is your habit tracker for every month. You have room 
for many habits, something around 14 or 15 habits, if I counted it right really quick. And then you have your 31 days for the month. So you can easily track, you know, I wouldn't be tracking 15 habits a month, but even I'd be tracking, you know, around four at the most. So they give you ample room for more habits. I actually love this setup of a happy habit tracker. It'll make me happy. Maybe that's what I was thinking, saying happy, a happy habit tracker. Um, you could choose a different color to color in for each habit, like with a matte pencil um, or a different colored pen. And that way it shows up really well when you're just looking at your whole chart. And you can also at a glance, see how you're doing for the whole month on all your habits together. I love monthly habit trackers more than weekly habit trackers because it gives me a month at a glance around the house. So if you want to list any chores or things you need to do around the house and keep track of that, also they give you that section. So I just think that's a really, really helpful section. And after, so you have your monthly view, then you have your bill tracker, your habit tracker, then you get your week planning for the entire month. So they give you five weeks. So for any month, that's five weeks you're covered. If the month is only four weeks, you have an extra one. So week of, and they're going to give you five in a row. One, two, three, four, five. So you're covered for any month that has five weeks. What your week is, is a one page glance at that week. You're gonna write the date in up here, and then you're gonna write your weekly agenda. Basically your, your big appointments, okay? Or any big events on those days. Starts with a Monday start on the weekly, which is also the normal, the, the typical. Then you have a meal planner Monday through, uh, so also a Monday start through Sunday, and a small place for a shopping list if you wanted to jot anything down during the week. So this is your week at a glance. It's basically for appointments and meal planning. And like I said, you have five of those following your month. Then you have your daily views for the whole month. And this is what your daily agendas look like. It's from 5 a.m. to 11 p.m. And of course, with them dividing this line in half, this can be your half hour slot if you need it to be. And if you don't, then you can just write all the way across it. But it is nice how um, they did leave that to be your half hour slot. Your date would go up here. Then you have top three priorities for the day right there. Um, then you have a box for work to do, a box for personal to do. So it's divided into work and personal. And of course, if you didn't need to divide it into those categories, you could divide it however you need to. And here you have a health and wellness box. So if you want to track your water, that option is here with eight water drops. Yeah, I think there's eight, yeah, there is. Um, there's a Band-Aid, a heart, and a habit box to track. So if you're trying to keep a habit, a health habit going, um, I imagine, sorry, that's not a Band-Aid, duh. <laughs> I bet I gave you guys a good laugh. That is a pill. So if you took your vitamins, you check that off. Your heart is, if you probably exercised and got your heart rate up, you can check that off. Um, your habit is probably for whatever habit you're working on for your health and wellness at the time or whatever habit you're working on for your goals to be able to check that off. So that is what all your daily spreads look like. This is for someone who doesn't need a huge amount of room to write every day, but you need to see your schedule, you need some room to jot down lists, and you want to keep track of your health and wellness. There are very few planners like this out there that have a monthly, weekly, and daily view. There are very few. Um, the Hobonichi is, of course, the Hobonichi cousin comes to mind, but it's very different from this. Um, I do have full video on that but so this is a rare thing to find in the planner world even these days and that's because with all those views you cannot fit a full year in a book unless you're Hobonichi with the Tomei River paper so they have to be done in six month increments and then it makes it a really portable book this book can easily be thrown in your bag it's not too heavy it's not too big it's portable okay so you have all your dailies for the month and you see how it's so easy to turn to the next month. I have never seen this in an undated planner. This is awesome and it's very rare to find any monthly tabs in a bound book. It's rare to find that in a planner. Um, I can only think of one other one right now. The Emily Lay Weekly, her bound 
um, weekly, but that's weekly only, has tabs, but it's very rare to find tabs in a bound book. So I love that because you can easily turn to your next month. Then you have your next month's view and you have your weeks and your days and then your next. And you can tab these with those little clear stickers they gave you. So they really have thought of everything, you guys. You have your month, your bill tracker, your habit tracker, then you have your five weeks for the month, and then you have your um, 31 days for the month. If your month doesn't have 31 days, then you're just gonna have a little extra. Then at the back, you get some awesome pages of notes. I love this. So many planners come with like two, three, five note pages. I love having more than that. So I think this is awesome. You have a good amount of note pages back here, at least 10 front and back. Um, and then half of it's lined, half of it is your squared graph grid paper. And so that's nice because some people need this for drawing out things or planning out things. And they're giving you a mix of both of those and kind of dividing your page. So you have your notes pages and then that is the end. You have nice, clean, fresh end pages in both the front and the back. You guys, this is a kind of new ingenious book. It brings something new to the market that I have not seen anything exactly like this. So this is the Archive Planner by North Folk. But North Folk is the name they're going to be staying under um, once they go to their second printing. It's also really professional looking um, because there's only a handful of planners that are professional looking that you can have in a job. If you have a certain kind of job where you cannot carry, you know, a planner that does not look professional, like you cannot carry an Erin Condren or, you know, any of those planners that look a little less than professional. If you need a professional looking planner and you need the monthly, weekly, and daily view, this could be the answer that you've been looking for. So I will link their site below. I'm very excited about this new venture that they're going on because um, I think they're going to or see good things because they really want to improve. They want to hear feedback. They want to hear what people want and they want to make changes based on that. And a company that wants to do that is they're already a step ahead in succeeding. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. And let me know what you think about this planner down below. I'd love to hear it. And I know that the folks at North Folk would love to hear it too, that they would love to hear your feedback, Sam and Rachel would. So leave that down below in the comments and happy planning until next time. Bye-bye.